What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idol Heroes, and today we're actually jumping back into some account tune-ups, and this is a very interesting account that we are looking at today for OMG Step Pro, yes, that is the name. Um, but anyway, this is a very interesting account. At first glance, you might think they've been doing something improperly with their Stellar Shards, but when you actually take a look at how much V4 and Stellar Shard imprints they have, it actually is pretty good, because this account has, I think, five transcendence heroes and they're pretty much powering up a little bit spread out like a little too thin because you know in the early game focusing on like one specific hero at a time is usually the best for your power but we're going to take a look at it because this is pretty much uh what i feel like you could literally think this account is from like the first five transcendence heroes because it's literally like the first five transcendence heroes so hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's jump right into it let's see what we can help for omg so this is what i'm talking about right here first glance it might look like why does he have five transcendence heroes but they're not oh, oh yeah actually back in the day all they used to have is this little blue ring around their uh their symbol meaning that they're actually v4 because nowadays it just feels weird if you don't have origin levels if you don't have origin levels it just doesn't make sense, right? Well, let's take a look at the actual heroes because it looks like we're building a decent amount of tenants. The first thing I notice, we have three different householders and the main damage dealer on this account does look like it's a sword flash. I'm hoping this account actually has some really good void campaign progress. I have not checked that out yet. I first want to see what these houses look like. So number one, ooh, the power is definitely spread out thin. Again, I'm usually not a fan of this. I do this for like sea land progression if you have them all in the same faction. But in reality, most of your power, at least up to like level 55 in my opinion, should be on your main household. I do like Aspen as a secondary and then Vesa for kind of what's left over. But I would probably prioritize more resources into here. And I did notice as well, like we have some imprints on Aspen's tenants we have like a very strong imprint on rogan yet we're completely lacking some on the gloria you want to make sure your main damage dealer is the one really packing a punch because even your inosuke and your fiona are lacking some imprints for additional power now when you do imprint these tenant heroes you don't need to go fully to v4 like you see on this rogan right here what you really want to do is i think maybe do what we see here v3 but you want to at least go for the attack node up here if not the attack and the hp the cheapest option is just going for the attack if you're only worrying about how much damage your d your main transcendence hero is doing uh the hp one saves you like a million not doing the speed of imprint saves you a million the the speed one literally transfers nothing over to the other hero whereas the hp does but again you have to decide is the hp worth it the attack node is most definitely the best one um so yeah i would definitely shift around how your tenants are set up i would also just say forget this house in general just literally reset every one of these buildings and pump everything into the main damage dealer whether you decide that sword flash or lord if you're aspen now the one thing i will say about this is this combo is surprisingly one of the strongest early game void campaign combos of sword flash and lord if you're aspen i'm hoping we're through chapter one. Oh no how are we not further in the chapter there's literally been free to play accounts that i've seen out there that have gotten to chapter two with just a sword flash and a Lord of Fear Aspen. And uh, you even have tons of bonuses. So chances are maybe we haven't even tried to do it on this account, which would be it's, it's a valid concern. I mean, some people just don't do it. We don't have any cores or anything like that. Let's see what his combat actually looks like. Maybe he just hasn't pushed. That could be one of the options as well. Uh, it's the one thing I hate about Sword Flash is the slow ramp up of damage. She's not like that huge round one active. This one is going to be very annoying based on whoever gets targeted by the Gustin. Because like literally you could kill yourself. Your main damage dealer could just kill itself on that target right there. Jara getting some CC off probably needs to happen earlier. We really need to check artifacts then that seems to be the answer yeah it looks like maybe he just hasn't even pushed because especially with this many bonuses 
My goodness, I think he's got max bonuses, doesn't he? Uh, I guess you can't actually see the hollow here. Uh, I think that's max. I think. Uh, let's check out the setups here. So Antlers Cane, yeah, that's a little difficult to pull off this early on. Uh, even like this is a little hard to pull off. I would definitely go for another Demon Bell on your, actually, you know what? Like, it's gonna sound weird. But I think I would just try to feed around one active into a Jara in Void campaign right now because you should be fast enough to outspeed them. So if you were to go for this type of content, again, just check your artifacts here in a second because we're going to do a couple things here. We're going to want to get at least two Demon Bells going before the Jara gets a chance to go. And I believe both of them, since they're before, they should have the speed to outspeed the Jara here. Thinking... And then she gets an active off before the enemy, or at least a lot of the enemy gets to go. She might be too slow. And that's the one bad part about not having V4 on every Transcendence Hero that you're using. Because you're missing out on that 100 speed. And even though she does have that Rui Scepter, she's just going a little too slow here. But you should be able to make a ton of progress with this account. Honestly, just shifting around how some of your resources are allocated would be good. Very even damage across the board for all these heroes, which is pretty impressive as well. So, yeah, it looks like you're basically done. Honestly, yeah, you're just you're just waiting for one more point and then you'll have the V4 and the speed. Uh, definitely probably want to go with some sort of speed stone then. I would reroll, get a speed stone here. But again, 1919 versus 194. That's going to be a struggle because then she might be too fast. She's right at that borderline where it's very difficult to get her faster than the energy feeders. Or slower than the energy feeders, but faster than the enemy. But you have a really good core of heroes. As of right now, I don't think personally I would change much of this. Besides maybe even making Jara one of your main householders out of the two. Because she can actually pack a punch and carry you all the way through Chapter 2. Jara is just like one of the best Transcendence heroes for early game Void campaign. Especially if you invest a ton of her. Now, we don't have a ton of like, uh, you know, we don't have a ton of great resources at our disposal right now for void like the awakenings the soul awakenings aren't that great here but i would highly suggest you try to save as many as possible to get sublimation chests because it does look like yeah we're lacking sublimation which again sublimation is probably gonna be one of the biggest power gains on your account uh and you just don't have anything whatsoever right now so try to focus on grinding up spiritual essence as soon as you can get one of these heroes broken what three times i think it is which is going to be a slow grind, uh, but make sure when that does happen, you go through and you spend your resources to get all the spiritual essence and additional stellar shards. If anything, I think you have a little bit too much spread out in stellar shards on your secondary householders, like the Drake. Uh, actually, who, who are the who are the tenants here? We got. Yeah, I mean, I would probably just even consider. Dropping some Stellar Shards off of maybe even Scarlet Queen Halora. And investing that in Tenants and Origin levels. Uh, because again, you need that one huge damage dealer to really pack a punch. So hopefully it helps you give you a little bit of advice on where to go with this. I know I'm being a little bit of a bully bear today. I know, I know. But it's, it's what sometimes you just need to hear. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you guys want an account soon, make sure you guys join our Discord. We'll talk about it more in the future as we get more into live streaming again in probably about three to four weeks time i will be having a lot more account tunes and i know you guys love watching them it gives some pretty good advice along the way i'll see you guys next time